guys oogs from the us welcome to the channel and thank you for watching happy thanksgiving to everybody from the us and canada or wherever you are around the world if you celebrate thanksgiving happy thanksgiving to you enjoy your time with family and friends because life is too short so i don't really feel like celebrating anything right now because of everything that's going on around the world you know the pandemic people dying everywhere and in the world of football diego maradona passing away big d who used to be a big entertainer in the world of football youtube everybody knows him so i'm kind of sad really to be honest with you i don't feel like celebrating thanksgiving today but hey uh death is also part of life you know what i mean if you don't celebrate other people are going to celebrate so i'm not gonna take their joy away from them because it's part of life um death is also a celebration so it is what it is man and um, i made few videos about diego armando maradona but many people are not really interested on those kind of videos because today's culture is about now you know the culture of instant it's all about messi ronaldo mbappe haaland sancho and you go on and on they know nothing about maradona nothing about the real ronaldo r9 you know the phenomenon and um they don't care they don't care about what happened yesterday they just care about uh, what is happening today and when messi and ronaldo are going to disappear in a few years nobody else will like to watch them anymore it's gonna be somebody else so it is what it is but for us you know like old school people we know i i i didn't grow up with maradona but you know watching him you know watching his videos and all that um you appreciate the man you appreciate the conditions you know that he was facing you know back then referees were not protecting players at all you know um the turf that they were playing is just like muddy kind of uh, stadium is just crappy and you see what the guy was capable of doing you saying that if he was playing in today's generation he was going to be the goat always but that is another topic for another day rest in peace brother maradona and uh, life continues okay guys let's now talk about some random topics in the chelsea world today and we're gonna start by a beautiful picture that's going on now on social media where Hakim Ziyech told Timo Werner it's okay to miss but next time you have to put those chances away man you know like hey I understand your situation you know I can also miss goals but those those kind of chances you don't get them often so when you get few chances you have to put them away and Timo Werner apologizing for you know the horror show that he had against uh, Rennes that tells you that we are not only building a great team but we are building a great mentality you know everything is mental if you know what I'm trying to say even Frank Lampard came out and said that that uh, used to be the culture at Chelsea Football Club if Didier Drogba misses many chances Frank Lampard is going to get on him and say man next time you have to improve it's not acceptable that you miss those kind of chances you are responsible of scoring goals for us you know what I mean yes you can pass the ball you can make assists you can do whatever it is you can create space and everything but your primary job is to score goals so let's go back to the basics because I've I've seen even people who defend Kepa Arisa Balaga 
blaming the defense, blaming the attack, blaming everybody for not helping him. But at the end of the day, your job is to keep the ball away from the back of your net. You know what I mean? So don't blame anybody else. Blame yourself first. Do what you gotta do. Jump. Dive. Do your best to save that ball instead of blaming everybody else but yourself. So the lesson learned here is that you have to do your job first and the rest is a bonus. Yes, Kurt Zuma or Thiago Silva can score goals. They can assist. But first of all, they have to defend. The rest is just a bonus. And it's not okay not to do your job on the field. It's not okay to miss so many chances and think it's okay. You know, it could be okay one or two times, but don't make it a habit of missing chances because you know everybody is going to tell you it's okay, it's okay. That is not a winning mentality. You have to take responsibility and we have to ask you some questions at the end of the day why you didn't do your job. And I heard people say, oh no, blaming people is not good at all. That is not blaming, okay? I have to ask you some serious questions if you don't do what you are supposed to do. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to be very mad or very mean to you for missing chances. But I'm going to tell you, buddy, you have to improve. You have to do whatever you can to make those chances away. And I think... Timo Werner is going to learn that. Okay, let's finish this video by talking about the New Jersey concept from Naki for next season. Yeah, we had some link a few weeks ago, you know, the home jersey, away jersey, and now we have the third kit concept that looks exactly like uh, Ajax. You know, remember Hakim Ziyech in that color? I don't even know how to call that color. It's not green. It's not blue. It's a mixture of pretty much many colors. <laughs> so we are going with something unique this time. And all the colors really look good because footy headlines, they always get it right 90% of the time. But you, don't, you never know what the design of the jersey is going to be, actually. You don't want to get Arsenal design or Crystal Palace strips. You know what I mean? So if we can figure out how to do our own things when it comes to design, it's going to be a good thing. Even the third kit this season, if they didn't put those, you know, strips that looks like uh, Barcelona or crystal palace it was going to be fine you know color is just color but it is what it is man some people start liking the third kit this season it start growing on certain people not on me yet but it could be if we win the champions league on it haha <laughs> or the premier league let's uh, wait and see there we go guys that's it from me let me know what you think about everything i've spoken in this video god bless you think outside the box and don't forget to subscribe to the channel give the video a damn like and see you in the next one